Hello everyone, welcome back. Welcome back to another video of my channel. I am Kishor Loy. Hope you all are doing well. So this video is crucial for those students who couldn't secure a very good GATE rank or GATE score in GATE 2024, but still aspiring to pursue their masters from top IITs and ISC. So there is a secondary way through which you can enter top IITs and ISC through a low GATE score and still pursue your master's degree from these top institutes. Unfortunately, not many students know about this particular way. And this particular process of getting an admission into top IIT and ISC with a low GATE score is not much publicized. So that's why I decided that I'll make a separate video on this topic. And in this video, I'll talk in detail about that particular process that how you can enter into top IIT and ISC and pursue your master's degree with a very low GATE score. What is the exact process? You know, how is the curriculum, the overview? What should be, would be the placement scenario? And what are the pros and cons of this particular master's degree that I'm going to discuss in this particular video. This video is for all the branches. So don't skip this video and watch this video till end. And before starting the video, as I always say, if you are new to this particular channel, please subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon so that when I upload a new video, you'll get a notification. And don't forget to hit the like button if you have liked this video. Without further delay, let's get started into today's video. So first, I will talk briefly about this particular program through which you can enter into IIT and ISC with a low GATE score and still pursue your master's degree. This program is called MS degree. So if you don't have a very good GATE score in your respective field, you probably have just cleared the cutoff of your respective branch in the GATE paper. Still, you can enroll for MS program in this top IIT and ISC. So, any Indian institutions like IIT and ISC, there are typically two types of MTech curriculum which is being offered. One is the conventional MTech curriculum, which is institute funded MTech or MHRD funded MTech, which you all are aware about. Here, your GATE rank or GATE score plays a very important role. So, you have to apply to these different IITs and ISC using your GATE score and how good your GATE score is. Based on that, you'll be selected in one of the uh, top IITs and ISC and you can pursue your MTEC uh, from that particular institution. Apart from that, in these in this IITs and ISC different departments, uh, they have a lot of project associated role that is available. So, what happens is that uh, different professors in different departments in these IITs and ISC, they get a lot of projects from different external organizations like, you know, private companies or research institutes. Now, professors who got these kind of projects, they need BTEC students to work on those different projects. So these are temporary job roles that is available in almost all departments in different IITs and ISC. So what you can do is you can join these temporary jobs in different IITs and ISC and later you can convert this temporary job profile into a MS degree and pursue MS degree while working in this particular uh, projects which you you are associated with. So this is the secondary way of pursuing a master's degree that you can join under a particular professors in a particular project and you can convert it internally into a master's program and 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 parallelly you can pursue a master's while working in that particular project. Okay, now I will show you the temporary job uh, web page of IIT Kharagpur. So this is the web page. Uh, so if you just search for temporary job at IIT Kharagpur, you will be getting uh, this URL. And in this particular web page, you will get the list of all temporary jobs uh, for those projects we have just mentioned. That there are a lot of projects which is being funded by different external organizations. So that will be enlisted there. And you know, for every IIT, there will be such temporary job portal. We have to search for it for a specific IIT. If you want to join that particular IIT for the uh, for this kind of project rooms, then you have to search for the temporary jobs in those particular IIT. Now I'll show you what is the detail uh, that we get here. So for example, this is one project under Professor Vivas Mitro uh, from CAC department. So the position is GRF for Junior Research Fellow Research. The title of the project is E-Monitor, Development of AI Driven Smartphone Based Assistant Framework to Monitor Student Stress as well as Learning Engagement in Online Learning Platform. So this is a project uh, which is sponsored by uh, one of the startups, AI for CPS Hub Foundation. This is all the internal startups of IIT Kharagpur, one of the company. So they have sponsored this particular project. Uh, the stipend is up to 37,000, which is quite high, depending upon the qualification and experience. The qualification that is needed is really VTEC or MUM tech in CAC, IT or EC, and a valid GATE or NET score. Uh, relevant experience, MTech is preferred. So this particular role, maybe this is for MTech, but there are a lot of roles that is also available for BTEC. Uh, there is no application fee. Age limit is 28 years. 
and the tenure will be 12 months as of now it will be a one, one year contract because it's a temporary job so there will be a contract for one year so yeah this is how there are a lot of projects that is available uh, based on projects there are a lot of relevant requirement is there for example another project is there professor Anivis Mukherjee from CSC department uh, his requirement is that students should have interest in bias families elements and all um, two years of research experience we will be preferred so these kind of different roles that is being offered by different uh, professors there are a lot of uh, actually uh, temporary of now available from CSC department or the problem it has one pro role they have one role. So these are different kind of roles that is being offered and and a number of posts is also uh, you know mentioned here and application deadline is mentioned here. And you have to apply by clicking here. Now you have to fill up all of the details. Now how you will apply for this MS program? So first of all you have to apply for those temporary jobs which is available in different departments of IITs and ISC. So as I already mentioned there are a lot of projects which is funded by external companies or research institutions in different IITs and ISC. And often IIT is to recruit BTEC students for, for, for filling up these different roles. So how you get to know about this role? So there is a temporary job portal available for all the IITs and ISC through which uh, you can see whatever, whatever projects and roles that is available which is funded by external companies and you can apply one of them which you want to apply. So, so you have to first apply for those temporary job roles. And what is needed for applying is first of all you, you should have a BTEC degree. Uh, that is the number one thing that is needed. A valid GATE score is needed even if you have just cleared the cutoff, that is also sufficient. And sometimes even GATE score is also not needed. So based on a particular role which you are applying, if there is mention that a valid GATE score is needed, then only you should have a valid GATE score. Otherwise, GATE score is also not needed. And finally, you know, if you have a prior research experience, that will always help. Because as I mentioned that these projects, typically they are research-oriented projects. So if you have a prior research experience, uh, that you can always showcase while applying. So these are the things that you need to do that you have to apply for this particular role. And you know, after a few months, maybe you will get a call based on your portfolio or CV. Uh, you will get a call for interview. And in, in the interview, you have to perform well. Uh, typically, what I have seen is that if your CGP is good and if you have a prior research experience, your chance of getting selected is very high, irrespective of whether you have a very good GATE score or not. Now, once you got selected for the particular role, you will join as a ZRF or Junior Research Fellow or a Project Assistant in the company-funded project under some supervisor, some IIT, IIC professor, and you will start working under him. And also, you will get a salary uh, of around 30000 to 40000 based on different projects. So, that will be getting monthly as a salary or stipend. Now, once you join the project, you have an opportunity to enroll for the MS program. And for that, you have to appear in an internal test. So the internal test happened twice in academic year. One is during the summer session that is around May, June time and another during the winter session that is November, December time. So typically during uh, the PhD admission, wherever the PhD admission is happening, that time only MS admission also is to happen. So if you are a part of a project, you have an opportunity to appear for the next MS entrance test that will be happening. And you have to apply for that particular test. And remember, you know, you have to be part of a project, then only you can apply for this MS entrance test. And you can't apply for this MS program outside the organization because the link that is that is given to you for applying this MS entrance is an internal link. So you can't access that link from the outside. Now you have to appear for the test and the syllabus is very simple. Syllabus is a gate syllabus that you have to prepare for. And you know, the, it's not that hard compared to the gate exam. It's a much more relaxed uh, test. And I've seen most of the people who, who is part of some project, they, they clear this particular exam and join the MS program. Now, as you successfully cleared that particular exam and successfully joined the MS program, the curriculum is almost similar to MTech research program that is available in IIC Bangalore or MTech RA program that is available in IIT Bombay. So there are a few course requirements that you have to fulfill and one MTech thesis project that you have to complete as a part of your MS curriculum. The only difference is your project is determined. Your project is that particular project which is funded by that particular company which you have joined initially so that project only you have to work on but apart from that the course requirement that you have to fulfill the course requirement for ms program varies from institute to institute and across departments but typically you have to credit three to four courses of your uh, area of resource that you are working on uh, as a part of your ms curriculum and in iit kharagpur there is a provision of having a comprehensive test or complete test after one year when you, you complete all the all the 
uh, course requirement so that you know they can validate how much knowledge you have gained from these different courses. Now, how much stipend you will get during your MS curriculum? So here there is an advantage because you because you joined initially in a project uh, in a, in a temporary job profile. So whatever salary you will be getting during that that will be continued during your MS curriculum. So suppose you joined in a project where your initial salary was 35,000 per month. So during your MS curriculum, maybe for two to three years, how long it will be going on, yeah. you will be getting 35,000 per month. So this is one advantage because mostly in the conventional and MD curriculum, it has been seen uh, that you will be getting 12,400, that is the MHRD standard stipend, which all MD students to get. But in MS program, it is funded by some company or external organization. So that's will be getting much more than the conventional MTech student. And you will be earning up to 40,000. I have seen few, few MS students to get in IIT Kharagpur because and the project funding is more. So that's why the student is getting more money. So stipend is a very big advantage of doing MS program in different IITs and ISC. Now let's talk about the timeline of this particular program. So it's also differs from IITs to ISTs and, and departments to departments. In IIT Kharagpur, it is mentioned that on average three years is needed. IIT Madras, it is mentioned on average two point five years is needed. But typically, you know, it's a, it's not a time bounded program like MTech Research in IIT Bangalore or MTech RE in IIT Bombay. Your guide will decide when he or she wants to, uh, you know, give you the MS degree and when he or she is actually satisfied with the quality work that you have done. Now the next question is how the placement will happen for these MS students. So there is no difference with MTech students. So similar to how placement happens for MTech students in on-campus placement session uh, in IITs and IISC, the similar kind of placement will happen for MS student. Only thing is that when you will be appearing for MS, that is up to you. So when you feel that your MS will come to end within a few, few months, then obviously the coming placement session you can appear for. And you have to prepare for this placement session. There is no differentiation between the regular MTech students and the MS students. So how you will perform in your interviews during the placement session based on that, you'll be getting a job offer. So it's up to you when you want to choose which particular placement session you'll be appearing for. And that will be decided based on when your MS is getting ended. And based on your performance, you'll be getting a job and you can even join that particular company. Now, which are the IITs and ISC which allow this particular MS program? So as I have mentioned in the very beginning of this video that in all IITs and ISC across different departments, there are a lot of projects which is funded by external organization or different private companies. But you know, not all departments actually recruit MS students. For example, in ISC Bangalore, CSA department, they don't take any MS students. They have this MT research program. They have the regular MT program and MT AI program. From these three programs, whatever students they take, they use those students only in these kind of projects. So they don't have any MS program. But typically in almost all IITs, in majority of departments, they allow this MS program. For example, I can say you, IIT Kharagpur and IIT Madras, they rigorously take MS students and, and work, uh, let them work in these different kind of projects. So if you are interested in any other IITs, you have to Google for these temporary jobs that is available in your respective departments. And if it is available, you can you can approach that particular supervisor and ask for an MS degree. And that's how maybe you can start the conversation and you can know the process. Finally, let's talk about the pros and cons of this particular MS program. So first, let's talk about the advantages. The major advantage of this MS program is that you don't need a very good GATE score. Typically, if you want to do MTech from the top IITs and ISC, you need a very good GATE score. And you know how tough GATE exam is. Uh, you know, you need a GATE score around 300 to get into the top IITs and ISC. But if you want to go to MS program, you don't need a very good GATE score. If you have a decent score or for if you have done, uh, if you have just cleared your cutoff also, but if you have a good CGPA, you have prior research experience, Showing those skills, you can get into this kind of temporary jobs and then you can convert into this MS program and you can, uh, you know, you can, you can, you can complete your MS from these top institutions and have a MTech degree. So that is number one advantage. Second advantage is placement point of view. There is no differentiation done by these companies among the MTech students and MS students. So you'll get the equal advantage or equal benefit of appearing for those uh, product-based companies which you'll appear for. Uh, placement in different IITs and ISC. So in terms of placement also, there is uh, no differentiation done by either IIT or, or, or the company level. And the third advantage is that you can earn more money if you do MS from these different institutions. As I mentioned, if you're doing normal MTech, you'll be getting 12,400 per month. 
But if you are doing MS program, you can earn up to 40,000 rupees based on whatever funding coming from different companies. So these are three major advantages you have if you are doing MS from the top IITs and IISC. Having said that, there are a few disadvantages also of doing MS program from IITs and IISC. And the number one, the most important con or disadvantage part is that it's not time bounded. And that is the darker side of it. Though in the rule book, it's mentioned that, you know, it should take three years or 2.5 years. Like in IIT Kharagpur, it's mentioned that it should take three years. In IIT Madras, it is mentioned in the, uh, in the, in the rule that it should take 2.5 years. But at the end, it's up to your guide. If your supervisor, he or she thinks that your work is not up to the mark, of what he, he or she expects from you, then he or she can delay your completion of MS program uh, till four years, five years. I have seen cases like till six years people are doing MS program. I'm not saying that, you know, it's only supervisor's fault that that particular student is from doing MS from, for six years. Many a times it has been seen that students is also not serious. Now he or she is not also working hard. So in that case, a professor can delay your MS program till five to six years. You can imagine it's almost equivalent to a PhD degree. So it's not time bounded. Uh, so that is the biggest, biggest disadvantage that you have that, you know, you have to uh, satisfy what, is your, what, what your guide's requirement is. So that's why I'll tell you that whenever you are part of this project, before converting into MS, talk with your supervisor what his or her requirement is uh, for completing the MS program or maybe talk with other seniors who are doing also MS and MS program or PhD under your supervisor and get to know about he, your supervisor's requirement and then only decide to convert it into MS program. So this is one of the biggest disadvantages I personally feel uh, for MS program. There's one more disadvantage there that is not that much serious that, uh, you know, your funding issue might come because you are funded by, by a company and these kind of projects, typically they have a duration, maybe two to three or four years. But if your MS goes beyond that, so maybe there is an issue of funding may arise in, in, in the latter part of MS program. So these are the two major issues you might find during your MS program. So yeah, that's it about this video. I hope this video will be helpful for many students across different branches. Because I know many students are there who is willing to pursue their masters from different top IITs and ISC and maybe for some reason, they are not able to get a good score, good get score. This is a very good opportunity for you. Just look into this kind of different temporary jobs that is available in different IITs and ISCs. If you don't find it, you mail to different professors under whom you are, you are willing to you're willing to work. Uh, you ask them whether there are any MS or MTech uh, with project opportunities available or not. Those professors will reply you if there is any potential opportunity available under them. So look for it and start applying for it if you are if you're really interested to uh, join these different IITs and ISC and want to uh, pursue MS program. And, you know, share this video to many other people because this video, I feel it's very important for many students. Yeah, that's it about this video. If you like this video, don't forget to hit the like button. If you are new to this particular channel, please subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon because this kind of videos will be coming up and you will get instant notification. That's it about this video. I'll wait till next video. Until then, bye.